Welcome, baby. Hey. Why is the living room littered? Littered? Yes. Littered. Babe, I have cleaned here already twice today. Besides, it's just a piece of paper. I'll pick it. Twice. You cleaned here twice today. You're proud of yourself. You cleaned here twice today, but yet you didn't see a piece of paper literally in my floor. You take your time, you do your makeup, you make yourself look all beautiful, but yet you choose to live in dirt. Live in dirt? Yes, live in dirt. Really? Really? Now, listen to me. You cannot come into my house, Larry Code's house, and litter my floor. Don't do that again. If you want to do that, you find somewhere else to be. All right? Living in dirt. like a child. Oh, now I'm the one who's acting like a child? When a man messes up, the woman reacts, she's acting like a child. Well, Lekon, I am a child. For heaven's sake, we're on the road. Can we get into the car and sort this thing out? With who? Me, get into that car. I must be very mad. Okay, at least get your gift bag in your bag. I don't need it. You bought it, right? Keep it. You, can, can you just... I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm not normal, no. I'm not normal. Look at you, you're leaving me! Just look at you! There's nothing he can say that would make me believe him. Nothing. How could he be sleeping with that tramp? Like seriously, Legon had to cheat on me and he had to be with that girl. It doesn't make any sense. Precious. You know this is your fourth relationship this year. And you know... I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to kiss as many frogs as I can until I find my Prince Charming. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it's the same pattern, Precious. You date a guy and you have a little misunderstanding. You are angry and that is it. He told me you, 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 you even tried to cause an accident by swerving off the road. I find out my boyfriend is cheating. What do I do? Am I supposed to cross my legs and sip wine? Is that your idea of not overreacting? That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should not do what's best for you. And I'm not saying you should not break up. But in the process of doing that, can you be calm about it, please? I'm done. Anyway, he called to explain and he... I am done. Baby. Hey, baby. Oh, the whole house smells so good. The whole house smells so full. Mm -hmm. What did you cook? Your favorite. Look. Oh. Can I taste it? Of course. I made this specially for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your love. Uh. Like it? Are we having a salt festival? But oh, babe, it's not salty. It is very salty! How come a beautiful girl like you can't even cook? 
so I don't know how to cook. I mean, you don't know how to cook. Everything you've ever made for me, everything I have to complain about. It. I can't cook. And you're so beautiful. Halfway into the actual. Come and meet me at the bar. Brother, I just couldn't deal. I couldn't deal. What? Well, besides the fact that the sex was bad, I mean, horrible, she kept screaming, enjoying what? Pulling my bed sheet, doing this, what? What's the point of that? You want to enjoy the sex more than I was even enjoying the sex? Man, you have a problem. So, how many, how many ladies now? Like, um, seven, eight. And we are still in October. The year is over here too. Right. There is no rush with, you know, finding the right woman. Do you want me to settle down with the wrong woman? Wrong woman? Yeah. Guy, yeah, I don't have a problem here. Yeah. I don't have a problem. That's like wrong woman. Since the guy who has three girlfriends at the same time, I'm the one with the problem. <laughs> Mine is different. How? How? My own is different. How? At least. I am sure of marrying one out of my three girlfriends. But you, on the other hand, you've never said anything good about your girlfriend. He's always one complain or the other. One complain or the other. Which brings me to the conclusion that uh, I have a very big problem. No, you have a problem. You have a big problem. You, you, three girlfriends. Hi. Hey, precious. Hi, hello. Hello. Just have a seat. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm scared. Ah. Uh, <coughs> Hi. Um, hi. Hi. Hello. I'm not going to stay long because I told my mom I'll be out and be back in 15 minutes. So, what is it you wanted to talk about? It's just 10 p.m., eh? Mommy's girl. What would you like to drink? Nothing. I'm fine. <sighs> so. Okay. He's sorry. We had this conversation. You said it wasn't about him. I know. I know, but you're in pain. He's in pain. You guys are my friend and you're both in pain. I can't bear to watch you guys like this. He's in pain? Yes. <laughs> what exactly does he know about pain? What is more painful than being cheated on? I never cheat on you. Um, I mean, I will never cheat on you. Sorry, my bad. Larry, precious, my co-worker's girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. And thank God he cheated on you. Look, I would never cheat on you. I would never break your heart. I mean, not the way that he did. I'd never do that. It's, it's so stupid to cheat on a woman like you. I mean, the best. Guy, so calm. Guy, 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 what is it? You're trying to beg for a man who, who cheated on his girlfriend. What's wrong with you?
this is okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> This movie is really interesting. Yeah, it looks interesting. Mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna say. Oh, oh my god. god! You could have just moved the damn drink. How come I wrong? It's just wine. We can clean it up in the morning. Oh, you you you're waiting to keep that till in the morning? That's what you're waiting to do? Wine or raw? Are you smart at all? Hey. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? I won't have you talk to me like that, Larry. That's my fault. Listen, I won't tell her. I, I, I know I can't deny the fact that I think you have OCD, but this right here is disrespectful. What's worse than being cheated on by your boyfriend? But you forgot to add the part where I couldn't take care of my man! Yes, I said it, and I mean it. Who are you? You're a monster! How can you even say such a thing to me? Oh my god. You know what? Thank goodness I didn't have sex with you! Thank goodness! <laughs> Mom, I didn't sleep with you because I didn't push for it! Thank goodness I didn't have sex with you. Hey, 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 hey! Drop my shirt! You wanna leave? Open this door or I'll break it! Drop my shirt! This door now or I'll break it! Hey! Hey! Get out! Get out! And... Carry your slippers! It's my fault. Oh, I even brought you to my house. Pouring wine on the floor, you think you can leave it in? I've been a month to jam, ma'am. If you be sure they don't use that, do money. What's going on there? Is it personal for your front? They ask you. No, I can't check him. What's happened? I'm gonna kill you, ma'am. Hey, what's going on? 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 Help me, help me, let's, 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 let's put her in the car. Help me, help me, let's go. Eh? Ah, ah, you know, I, I keep telling you.
tell him precious. Leave this stupid boy alone. First, your study. You wrong? Eh? He, she keeps telling me, eh, he, he's nice, he's nice, he's nice. She nice in the moment, Jenny. Aburo ni suru. She might not be as bad as you think. If I catch that boy, see back bamu. Huh, I will show him Pepe. I will let him know that I'm the yellow of this. Uh, uh, oh, yes, oh, oh, you know oh, oh, we oh, cannot oh, go in without uh, seeing day, the receptionist. Yes, uh, good day. Excuse me, sir. The doctor will be with you shortly. So just be calm, okay? Thank you, thank you. Oh, the doctor is coming. Hey, <sighs> boo. Ha! Um, there's a young man that brought in the lady. Precious. Hey, doctor. Uh, you're alive. You! Uh-huh. Uh Nisuru, not now. Nisuru. Um, I am sorry. Is there a problem? Can we see my office? Ah, uh, uh, no. There is no problem. So, you brought her here and you couldn't even tell us anything. You were just staring at us. Anyway, let me leave your case for now. Uh, doctor, can we see her? No problem, you can see her. But, uh, madam, excuse me. Okay. Please, I have a question for you. What time did the accident happen? And what time did you bring that in? Uh, I'm not so sure, doctor. I think it was after 11 p.m. Ah! But they brought her here by 10 a.m. Madam, please calm down. Um, um, you should know that the difference between life and death is time. You should know. Doctor, honestly, I had no idea she was outside. I mean, I was, I woke up in the morning. I was on my way to work when I saw her outside of my house. Oh, I, I didn't... Did you fight? No, wait. Did you beat her up or what? What, what happened exactly? Did you not tell her? Uh, 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 Nisuru, Nisuru. Doctor, how is she? <laughs> Quite bad. <laughs> the blood in the brain. Huh? That we can treat. The legs are really bad. Huh? That we can as well treat. But she's going to be on a wheelchair for now. Huh? That's when she eventually wakes up. <gasps> uh, what, what, what are you saying exactly? I don't get it. What, 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 eh? Madam, she's unconscious and we are going to try our best to make sure she pulls through. Ah. Uh, sorry, I have to attend to things for now. I'll, I'll be back shortly. Ah, ah. <laughs> unconscious! Oh, you're ah, the ah, stupid, ah, 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 stupid boy that she has been whining about! Ah. Oh, you had a fight and you let her out of the house at 11 p.m. You heartless, wicked person! Ah, 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 bro, how are you sure he's telling the truth? <laughs> you left her outside your house from 11 p.m. Hmm? Yahoo boy. See, look at yourself. You don't know who you're messing with. You, by the time we're through with you, you will look for yourself and you will not find yourself. Wah, wah. Finish you. You go. Aye, aja. Larry, I told you to leave that girl alone. I told you she's one girl you could not touch. I did not touch her. We had an argument like any normal couple would. And you let her out that late? She said she wanted to leave. What did you want me to do? Hold her? But nobody should blame me for what happened though. Nobody should believe me. I was not the one that hit her. Larry, explain to me how someone gets knocked down your estate. Drunk boys drive this estate every single day. You know that. But, Jeff, I called you to help me, not to scold me. You don't understand. You don't understand this thing at all. I introduced you to that girl. Alaja knows me now. Look, pray. Pray nothing happens to her. If something happens to that girl, Larry, nobody will find you in this Lagos. Guy, you are a goner.
Ah, the only reason they call me mother. Hey, oh, eh, 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 must not make it take it easy. Please don't tell me that. It's just that these children, whatever you advise them, they will do whatever pleases them. Eh, hey, Momo, bro, Momo, but Precious is a good girl. Eh, it is that Alakori, that local rat. That must have misled her. It is time for me to call my boys. Yes. All my boys in Isaleko, Ekpe and Aja. They will do first round for him. Yes. Then the second round will be with my boys in the Kolodu and Ketu. What's that? Ah, sister, don't do this. No. No. They will kill him. They will. Let's use the police instead. I, I think I suggest the police. Eh, kill him. <laughs> kill him. Yes. Shebi, you know that if my daughter does not wake up, he's a dead man walking already. Ah, ha. no, your okay. daughter will not die. Mm, okay. She will not die. I'm here. No, she will not die. That is why I'm suggesting we use the police. You know, if he's a smart boy, but I would have left town. <laughs> he will run out of the country. Yeah. I will finish him. I will win his, his lineage, his whole generation. I will win them. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Come up by the wall. What about you, Jay? Ah, hey, what's up? 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 Precious. 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 Doctor! 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 My joy, my pride, my precious. I can't feel my legs. The doctor mentioned it. No, mom, it's not moving. I can't feel anything. You had an accident. You might not be able to walk in Kiki. It is only you that can beg that will listen. Madame will not even talk to me at all. Larry has gone through so much pain. Get up. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Eh? What nonsense? What pain? Is it as much pain as my sister's little daughter is feeling? Is it? Sir, I had a larger arranged for boys to go and be beaten in prison every day. He's my son. My only son. Really? Ah, they will kill him. Ah, hey, Mashibe. Eh? Eh? Ah, Mashikini. They will kill him. One word from her. Eh? They will kill him. But, but sir, please, there are other ways we can settle this thing other than the prison. Ah. So he will run. Okay. What is he running to, sir? You are the eyes and ears of this town. Any moves he makes, you will know. I hear. 
And, sir, I can I can stand for him. I can sign for him and stand for him. Oh. And you know where I live, sir. Oh. You, you know where I live, sir. You know where I live. Why are you supporting him? So I, I'm not supporting him. At all. Mm, you are not. So, why did you not train him well? That is the bane of our society. Now you're crying over spilled milk. Eh? Eh? So what do I do? Eh, Kilomache, what do I do? But, but sir, ever since she has been in coma, I've been coming to the hospital. Mm. In fact, that's why I'm here. I've been sleeping in the hospital, sir. And what do you think my sister will do? What? Sorrow. Sorrow. What? Crow, 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 crow. Crow. Marry her. Eh? Oh, so that he can cook her. Finish her finally. God forbid. Over my dead body. Oh, no, Nije. Aburo, Aburo. What will you do with a girl who cannot walk again? Who will marry her? Mm, it is easy for you to say. Eh, she's not your daughter. No, Abro, no. You know I took care of Precious since she was a child when her father passed. And it was in her best interest. You know that. Shebi, I begged you. Eh? I begged you. Leave me and this boy alone. Let me break his two legs. Yes! Eh, Femi, I say, Sile. Eh? I want his two legs. I will break the two. It should no longer be a knife for an eye. It should be two eyes for one eye. Because no matter what go say, but what I you can only be happy for a while, but that is not the solution to the situation. And you think letting him off the hook so that he can marry Precious will change the situation? What if he had already planned all this so that he can marry her? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No. Hey, mommy, I will end that boy. Ah! Mm. Ah! No, bro. Violence doesn't solve all problems. That boy would have died in prison with the beatings he had, but he survived. And uh, you know, she's ripe, and she claims to love him. And since he put her in this situation, he won't be out of place asking him to marry her. Mm. Okay. So what if she later walks? And then realize that she has been forced into a marriage that she doesn't want. Abi? Aburo. <laughs> Aburo, that doctor is not telling you the whole truth, you know. He knows what you do to him. Your reputation precedes you, you know. <laughs> Aburo, Suru. Ah, Suru. Aburo, Suru. Suru. Ah. We had an argument over a while. Spilled wine on my carpet. I had no idea that night was going to change my life forever. Larry. Sir. Larry. Sir. Larry. How many times did I call you? Are you aware that that young lady will never be able to walk again? Mm. I'm so sorry. You are sorry? So what lessons have you learned? Well, I've, I've learned that I should treat women better. I treat a woman as if she were my own sister. Do you even love my daughter? Hmm? Sorrow, talk. Answer. Yeah. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. In that case, you and your son should go and get your kinsmen and come back. I will give you the right price. Marriage? I'm not thinking about getting married. I mean, not now. Of marriage. Who will marry her? Who? By your mother, get off your young man. 
What were you thinking? Now, young man, you have two options. Either you continue loving her and marry her, or you go back to jail. What would it be? We'll marry son. Ah, now you're putting on your thinking cap, my friend. I want to go back and talk about it. Larry. Larry. Yeah. Dad, what are you even Larry. saying? What, no, what are you even talking about? You stood there, you did nothing. You watched that lady practically subjected me to getting married to her daughter. You should have asked. All I've done this while. Why are you in prison? Well, all you did whilst I was in prison meant nothing because I stayed in jail until she woke up. And you know what? I am not getting married to that girl. I will not marry her. Even if I wanted to get married, not to a girl in a wheelchair. Larry, I strongly advise that if you have any plan, you put it in motion. Let me remain here and bear the consequences. Or you man up, face your responsibility as a man, and marry a girl. Man up. Man up! You have the guts to tell me about manning up? What do you know about manning up? What do you know about facing your responsibility? You kicked me out of your house when I was barely 18. You got married to a girl that was, that was, that was barely my senior. And you telling me about manning up? What have you done for me? What have you done for me since my mother died? What have you done for me? Nothing! Are you telling me about manning up? Yeah. Father of the year. Man up. You know what that? No. Hey yo. You know what, hey yo? This is the last time. The very last time I ever see you step foot in my house. Never! Never come to my house again! Please leave my house. I said leave my house! Larry. 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 Never. Marry this man? The heavens forbid. I would rather die, slit my throat, go mad, than end up with this bag of trash. If this is what this meeting is about, it will not work. I will never do him the honor. Come, 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 precious. I will not let him off the hook, if that is what you're insinuating, for putting you on that wheelchair. I won't, oh. So you would rather dash me out to an idiot because you're trying to get your revenge? My daughter. I am not your daughter. Don't you dare. Take your animal of a son and get out of this house. Precious, precious. Would you rather have him brought in jail? I don't care, uncle. I don't care where he rots. Mom. Is this what I'm worth to you? To be dashed out to a worthless piece of man like Larry? If it's about him paying for what he did to me, oh yes he will. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't put you in a wheelchair. You will report here every day, 7 a.m. I'm on a wheelchair. I will need a nanny now, don't you think?
You everything I touch you never were And nothing like I touch you could have been But still you live inside of me So tell me how is that You're the only one I wish I could forget The only one I love to not forgive And though you break my heart You're the only one And though there are times where I hate you Cause I can't erase The times that you hurt me and put tears on my face And even now why I hate you It pains me to say I know I'll be there at the end of the day hey, I don't wanna be without you babe I don't want a broken heart Don't wanna take a breath without you babe Hello? She's not gonna open the door. What's the what's use of me coming here every day? Hello, it's me, Larry! Look, I know it's none of my business, but you shouldn't be drinking. Did my nanny say something? I need home cooked jollof rice with a glass of red wine. I'm hungry. Is that all, man? Get out. nothing there whatever you're cooking trash it
Why should you walk when I can't? Why should you have your legs when I can't use mine? It was just a freaking glass of wine. You could have left it. You could have let it go. You could have ignored and I would still have my life. But you have taken everything from me. Over a glass of wine. Over a freaking bottle of wine. Morning, ma. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, Larry, I begin what you be. Ma? What do you do for a living? Oh, I, uh, I'm into investments. Online investments. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoins, Forex. You're a Yahoo, Yahoo boy? No, ma. I'm... See, whatever you do, I don't care. I am not bothered at all. Hmm? Anyway, I know the job must be suffering. But you cost it. Listen, whatever my daughter needs, whatever she wants, make sure you tell me. Shogba? She needs to stop drinking. Uh-uh. Shut up, Nye. Who will be on which and not drink? Eh? Mommy, give me give me what to do to see Benny. That's precious. Don't you think it's too early for this? Precious. But I just wish you would give yourself some time to recover. Do you know what it feels like to be the one sitting on this Wheelchair, Harry. The only one I love to not forgive. And though you break my 
his chair is in Locke's room. It's a representation of broken dreams. A career that has ended. A life I'll never get back. I've had my own shelf being. I mean, ever since this incident, my life has never been the same. Hey. What do you know about pain, Larry? I loved you. I gave you my heart. And you betrayed me. Pain is the constant backache that I feel because I can't move. Pain is this hurt I feel on my buttocks because I can't walk. And this pain on my leg, the numbness, the tingling sensation that taking painkillers cannot take away, that is Pain, Larry, and you have no idea what that is. I'm so sorry I hurt you. No. I hurt myself. I loved you too quickly. I jumped into another relationship without letting the other end. I left your house angrily. <laughs> and I gave myself to you, Larry. I don't even know why I, I do this to myself. Like, what kind of a life is this? Why don't I just end it? So everybody can just. Let's go! 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 It was just a pretty glass of wine. I should have just let it go.
home. Precious, your home by this time is very strange. What's going on? Um, I don't even know how to start. Um, hi. Um, you know, I have to go somewhere now, okay? We'll talk later. See you. Okay. I brought you something. No way. Yeah. You got me food. Larry, you didn't bring water up the way. I brought water. Well, I knew you had water at home, but uh, I wanted all water in the car just in case I needed to drink something. Uh, okay. Is that snail? Yep. Yeah, I know you love snails, so. <laughs> Okay, come wait, will you come closer? Okay. All right, much better. Okay, taste the snail first. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Ah. See? Okay, why is the snail being so difficult? Taste the rice. I know you will love it. Okay, let's go. Don't, don't. Okay. But uh, let me just put. Leave it. Leave it. some rumor. So I decided to do my findings. Apparently, it was Ifoma and some chiefs in Ikorodu that wanted to assassinate you. Yes, they caught one of the boys and when he confessed, he said that they had been telling you for the past one week and when the opportunity came, they struck a wonder broke. That means it wasn't an accident. No! It was not an accident. Accident about No. Ah, they wanted to assassinate you so that they can get back at me. Can you imagine that? I know what to do. I am going to beef up my security. Wagba. Ha. Mom. You put my life at risk again because of your choice of job. How many more times do I need to get hurt by people who are trying to get at you? It will never happen again. You just, just be watching us, oh. just leave me and them. Just watch us. It will never happen again because I am going to wipe the entire generation. You don't get the point, mom. I can't walk. You put me on this wheelchair because of your lifestyle. And I'm here because of you. How many more enemies are we going to fight? How many more are going to come? Do I need to die? I can't walk. You sit down here and you narrate the story like some tale. Precious. Forgive mommy, please. I'm sorry. I didn't even know. You know. Mom, leave my room now. 
you know, see my coming through. Please, be sure. I, 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 I beg you, please. Leave my room! Why are you not opening the door? Uh, sorry, you can't call me. What? Yes. And the person said I should tell you to stop coming to work. I should stop coming to work? Mm -hmm. Is she okay? Where is she? She's fine. She just asked me not to let you in next time you come. Don't be. I'm sorry, sir. What's the meaning of this? She shouldn't let me in. It may. I've done. I've tried. I've tried. Precious! 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 I know you're hearing me! I'm not going anywhere! I'm not leaving this place until you come out and you talk to me! I'm gonna say put, Precious! 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 I'm not leaving here until you come and face me. Preach. I'm a coward. That's why I've been avoiding you. But you're free to go. Live your life. I'm sorry for everything that I've put you through. I'm sorry for all the... What are you talking about? My mom's political opponent, they did this to me. And I was angry. I was angry with you. I was, I was upset, but I don't think it's right to keep you here anymore. I think that you can move on with your life and and you're free just to go. <laughs> no.
Precious! Precious! I'm so happy for you. God is faithful. Yeah. After four months of being in cell and also being a nanny, you've finally been vindicated. And now you're a free man. And my guy, I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? If you ask me, I would advise you to take a trip to Dubai for like six, seven months at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> to clear your head now. How about? It's not easy. Or, you know, go to club and arrange some... Get back. Those grooves that you lost. You get stuck. know how you're doing. She hasn't been picking my calls. She doesn't talk to me. I just don't know what to do. I just came to a restaurant to get some snails to send to her. Yeah. <laughs> no way. You didn't do that. <laughs> oh my god. No way. You didn't just say that. Let me hold it back. Let me hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you gonna introduce me to your your man? Hi. Larry. Larry. What? So as I was saying... No, I would love I'll... to be a part of your conversation, especially one that is making you laugh so hard. Do you realize that this is rude? Like, seriously. You can't just barge in on us and try to have a conversation with us. It doesn't work that way. I already gave you your freedom, so what else do you want? Why can't you just leave me? Please, leave! Precious. 
I slept in jail for you. I became a nanny for you. I was beaten by people my own age for you. There's nothing I'm afraid of. Nothing scares me anymore. I don't see anyone trying to scare you here. Trying to. Oh, I uh, got you some snails. I know you love snails, huh? See you around. Hey. Let me. Uh... Calm down. Just calm down, please. Calm down. Calm down. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Because you should have seen how she was smiling so brightly. I've never seen all that happen before. She just call her. Why not call her, please? She doesn't want to pick my call. She doesn't want to see me. She doesn't want to talk to me. I don't even know the guy in question. Because I haven't seen him before. Well, I'll go there tomorrow morning. Okay? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. This was uh, an absolute waste of your time. It's fine. Anything for pressure is okay. Just calm down, please. Just calm down, okay? Please. I want you to do me a favor, right? Go inside, tell Annabelle to go to Precious' room and wake Precious up. She should tell Precious that Larry is outside waiting for her. She should come and talk to me. If she doesn't come and talk to me, I'm going to spend the night outside here. Do you understand me? You must have some nerve showing up at my doorstep at this time of the night. And as for you, if this repeats itself again, you will lose your job. Get out. I've tried. I've tried to leave you, to go away from you, but I can't. I mean, that's what any sane person, any normal person should do. Go away, leave, go! But I just can't, because I love you. I love you, precious. Amiya, please. Let us find a way to move past this horrible, horrible episode that brought us together. We can, if we try. And then what? And then be mine. I'm not mentally ready for a relationship. I... Precious. Precious. And precious, we are still in a relationship. Because we didn't break up, we just had a fight. So technically, you are still my girlfriend. Are you even serious? After all the hurtful things you said to me, you're a horrible person, Larry. And with or without this accident, I wouldn't date someone like you. Yeah, you said it right. Horrible. I am a horrible man. But I had to be horrible to meet you. If I weren't horrible, I probably would have been married by now. Oh yes, I'm horrible because I'm horrible for you. Precious. I know I messed up, but I want to be that man that you need so that you can be the woman that I need in my life. Please. You just, just you, you feel guilty. You feel guilty and you don't have Responsible. to. Responsible.
that's the word, responsible. I feel responsible for you. I've never felt responsible for anything in my life. I've never taken responsibility for all my actions, whatever. But with you, it's different. I feel like you're my baby. My child, I love you. No, I cannot guarantee you that we are not going to fight. Oh, yes, we're going to fight. But what I can assure you is that whenever we fight, that fight is going to be a fair fight. Truthfully, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get you out of my mind. And that kiss at the restaurant, it was just, it was just everything. Shut up. <laughs> what are you thinking? Where are you going? I'm going to the house. My mom is in there. Because in the house will be quiet. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not going to. So, is that what you want? Okay. You can go. You have my blessings. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> um, well, we'll be going to Adwaiki in five days. Just make sure you bring her here every weekend. Sure, I will. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Baby girl, miss you. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> You. Eh, you know, both of us just stay. Let me yeah. just take this picture. Ah. Oh, yeah, let's take picture. Yeah. That's going to be in it. No, Mama. Smile. <laughs> How was your day? Well, my day was okay. I just left the doctor's office and he gave me a list of exercises he's insisting that you do. <sighs> he said some will be painful, but um, you'll be fine. Painful? Yeah, painful. How painful? Um, I don't know, but painful. I'm just... Come on, you'll be fine. I'm just tired of all this. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, so, like we were saying earlier on. Yeah, like we were talking about. So, um, what's the result? Well, you know, so since you and I know that you sometimes act like a complete idiot, <laughs> I, <laughs> I think it would be in our best interest to come up with a love language. Okay, like some kind of slang, right? Uh, I don't know if this is a slang is what I'll call it, okay. but... Did you think of anything? I love you. Like, I love you? You mean when I'm mad at you and you say, I love you? It's not going to change anything. It will change everything. I love you, you love me. Of course, it will change everything. Come it will be on. awkward at first, but it will change everything. Okay. Like, um, when I say something nasty to you and you say, I love you, mm -hmm. it's just a way of saying to me that yeah. I'm being an idiot. Yes. And when you, you know, say something nasty, because you have some nasty in you. You're not supposed to say it now. I love you. Okay. I love you too. I love you. Babe. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you too. What do you want to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Come on, let me make you something to eat. I'm not hungry.
fuck you up. Yeah, baby, let's do this. An empty screen, an empty house, a hole inside my heart. I'm all, all alone, we're really getting, getting smaller. I wonder how, I wonder why, I wonder where they are. The days we had, the songs we sang together. Oh, yeah. And, and all my love, I'm holding on forever, reaching for the love that seems so far. So I stay a little friend and hope my dreams will take me there. Where the skies are blue to see you once again, my love. Overseas from coast to coast To find a place I love the most Where the fields are green To see you once again My love I try to read I go to work Laughing with my friends But I can stop <laughs> I thank you well. I thank you well. Stop. What? What is me? Just what is wrong with you? Okay. I told you that I didn't want sex, but you won't let me be. No, it's okay. It's with me. No, it's fine. So, I love you. I love you. I love you. It's okay. I'm just sexually attracted to you. But I understand if you don't want sex. But it's okay. We'll cuddle. Okay? Come on, lie down. It's okay. Did I overreact? But I know if you had your legs working, you would have left my house a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't listen. What are you trying to do to a cripple girl? Being, being close to you is just so difficult without trying to touch you. Mm. Do you know how beautiful you are? Good night. No. No, okay. Thank you.
Baby, why? I cleaned this place up before I left. The least you could do is just to maintain it. I love you. How, how did you even mess up the whole place? I love you too. Baby, uh, 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 let me finish saying what I want to say before you get, get to I love you. You know, when you stop throwing tantrums and nagging, I'll clean it up myself. It's okay. I brought you snow. Thank you. Let me clean it up. Don't worry, I'll do it myself. No, it's okay, babe. I will just uh, <sighs> fix it up. Move my leg, and last week I realized that I could walk a bit. Dr. Maimuna says I should keep trying. Oh, baby, this is this is amazing. This is this is wonderful. This is so beautiful. I wanted to surprise you. You have, you have. This is so beautiful, baby. You are so beautiful to be sitting in a wheelchair. I'm so happy. Let's, let's try again. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 